Greg Swan here. I'm coming at you from my office and obviously not from the barber chair. With luck, the state of Arizona will reopen on May 1st. When that happens, we'll have to see how economic activity resumes and um, how quickly we can get back to where we were. If you are lucky enough to have a secure income and a decent mortgage, my advice for now is to stand pat. I can't tell you what's going to happen six months from now or two years from now. I expect there will be some significant declines in values. The iBuyers are no longer buying, but they have to sell their inventory. Um, VRBO, Airbnb, other vacation rentals may be in a situation where they can't cover their mortgages and may need to sell. And so we may see a surplus of inventory coming on the market in the next few months, which could take two years or more to work out. In other words, to get back to where you were on March 1st, 2020, maybe March 1st, 2022, or who knows how much longer it could be. You got a roof over your head. It's cheaper than the alternative. If you go out and look at rentals, if there are any available, you'll find that you'd pay a whole lot more for a rental than you're paying for the home that you're living in now. And so, as I say, if your income is secure and if your mortgage payment is manageable, stand pat, you probably can't do better than you're doing right now. I'm making this movie to talk to people who are in the other situation whose income is not secure, as maybe has vanished entirely. You may have failed to make your April 1st mortgage payment. You may be looking at failing to make your May 1st mortgage payment. You need to get out from under before the house destroys your credit rating and before your accrued equity vanishes anyway. And so that's my message to people in that situation that if you must sell, do not sell desperate. The iBuyers are gone, but there are lots of vultures still out there who will pay substantially less than the iBuyers were paying. So they'll make you an instant cash offer of 80% or 85% of the value of your home. But you're basically throwing away 15 or 20% of your equity. I need you to call me. I'm not doing this for charitable reasons. Obviously, if we sell your house, I'm going to get paid. My advice for most people is don't sell your house. But if you're in a situation where you need to, make sure you maximize your return. Make sure you maximize your accrued equity. And the only way you can do that is by talking to a skilled professional marketer of homes. So Give me a call and let's talk. If you're in that situation, if you need to sell, don't sell desperate. Let's talk. At a minimum, I can tell you what your home is worth, but I can give you a whole lot of ideas for maximizing value in this awful situation that we're in. And the reality is, if it were to be done, it were best done quickly. So let's get the ball rolling and get you out of trouble. My number is 602-740-7531. I'm Greg Swan. I'm the broker of Bloodhound Realty. Normally, I'm not this shaggy, but I'm always this perspicacious. So give me a call and let's work something out. Bless you. Thank you. Keep your family safe and we'll talk soon.